Hey everybody, welcome back to Begin Again. Today we're going to be talking about something that most club racers kind of struggle with and that's Ackerman steering. What, do you, what is it and how do you use it? So it's time to get a little bit techy and here we go. So the first thing we need to do is just understand what on earth is Ackerman. Let's just get really basic for just a second. All Ackerman is, is a feature that's built into the steering geometry of every go-kart that allows the inside front tire to turn at a greater angle than the outside front tire. That's all it is. But then the question is, is okay, so why is that a big deal? The answer to that actually lies in the back of the cart on the rear axle. So follow me and let's take a look. All right, so every go-kart has a solid rear axle, right? And so what happens is, is, is that no matter what happens, whatever speed the right rear tire is turning at, guess what? It's the same speed that the left rear tire is turning at. And so we don't have a differential. And so when you go into a corner, the outside tire has to go faster than the inside tire. Just physics, right? So what we do is, since there's no differential to, to make up the difference between those two turn speeds, what we do is, is we trick the go-kart just a little bit by raising the inside tire off the ground for you know, it's maybe half an inch, maybe at the most, for a very short period of time, but that's what allows the cart to pivot and turn into the corner. Now, the thing is, is sometimes the rear tire may not be in the air long enough, and so it'll set back down on the ground too early, which causes a push when you go in to the corner. On the other hand, if the tire stays in the air for too long, what happens is, is that it induces an oversteer, so you have oversteer going into the corner. In either scenario, that is not helpful at all. And so what we want to do is, is we want to tune it so that that tire comes off the ground right when you want it to come off the ground, and it sets back down on the ground right when you want it to set on the ground. And Ackerman helps you to tune that lift and the duration of the lift. Okay, so now we're back at the front of the cart now that we understand what's going on at the rear of the cart. So I've taken off the nose cone of the cart so you can see the front tires better. And we're gonna do a close up now of each of the tire, tires operating independent of one another and then working together so that you get a real good view of what's going on with Ackerman steering. All right, so I'm, in all instances, I'm just going to turn the steering wheel left. Now, this is the right tire, and watch how that tire goes. It's, that's about its maximum point, but I'm still turning the steering wheel, and look, the tire actually starts going back towards the center line of the cart. Okay, here's the left front tire. Now watch the angle that it operates at as I turn the steering wheel again to the left. Much, much steeper angle than what you saw for the right hand tire. All right, so here it is with both tires in operation as we turn the steering wheel again to the left. And that's all the way over, which of course you'll never use that much, but it dramatically shows the difference in the angles. So when you look at the steering shaft, the steering shaft is what gives you that geometry for the Ackerman. And you notice that we've really got three slots that you can put the bolt that holds the tie rod in. The lower slot is the slot that actually gives you a bit more leverage as you steer. The middle slot would be what we would consider neutral. And then the upper slot is the one that will give you the le less amount of leverage on the, uh, the effort for turning the cart. It will also reduce the amount of the Ackerman effect. Greater effect at the bottom, neutral is where the cart was designed, and again at the top, then less effect. Okay, so why does this matter? Well, 
again, Ackerman is just a great tuning tool that you can kind of have in your toolbox or your, your bag of tricks, maybe that's a better way of putting it, so that you can then adjust the cart to what the track is giving you. The track may be grippy, it may be brand new, green, the just rain, there's no rubber on the track, and so you can be adjusting the cart using Ackerman. The main thing to remember is, is that if you go on the lower bolt hole, that puts more weight on the inside front tire, which then provides lift to the inside rear tire. So if you're getting an understeer when you're turning into the corner, just add some Ackerman. On the other hand, if you're too front end positive, if you're like a little bit oversteery on turn in and all that kind of stuff, well then raise the Ackerman uh, in the steering shaft, raise it up to the upper bolt hole, that will take some of that um, front end positive bite out of the cart and so it'll give you a, maybe a handling characteristic that's a little bit better for you. Also, smaller drivers typically start at neutral and they may go up to the upper bolt hole, whereas a larger driver like me may start at neutral and go down to the lower bolt hole. So hopefully this is helpful for you. Okay, so I hope that made some sense to you. The big thing is, is that Ackerman is something that you can do to fine tune your chassis for the conditions that the track is giving to you. And so my challenge to you is go out to the local cart track, try your Ackerman at all the different positions that your steering shaft gives you. Some carts give you two positions, some will give you four. Try them all, write good notes, and then you'll know what the effect is of each of those positions. And if you need to make a quick change during a race day, then you can absolutely do it. That's a competitive advantage. You can use that the next time you face a green track and you're up against guys who have no idea about Ackerman because they haven't watched this video. I hope this helped you. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't yet to begin again. It really helps us out. Until next time, thanks for joining and I'll see you soon.